Snow is piling up, getting heavy on some area roofs. And with some snow on the way, crews that clear those rooftops warn the heaps on your house could cause major issues, cave-ins, leaks, moldy walls. WDAY News reporter Nick Broadway has the expert advice on what you need to look out for when it comes to keeping your roof in good shape this winter. We're just right now getting some of this snow off. We got so much weight up there. Mark Nelson and his crew do this for a living. And after last week's storm, yep. business is picking up. When we asked what grade he would give Fargo for snow roof maintenance so far. A D, a D minus. <laughs> leaving the snow behind can allow ice dams to build up near the gutters. And if your attic is too warm, bottom layers can melt and the ice traps water into your shingles. That can lead to mold. It serves like a blanket on top, heat loss from the attic. I have pulled that snow and up off of them roofs sometimes and, and it's like 30, 30 below and pull it off and water's running underneath on the roof. It's just unbelievable. He says keep your attic close to the same temperature as the outside by keeping vents clear and those whirly birds turning. You don't have to clear the entire roof. At least use a roof rake to take care of the space about six to eight feet from the edge. He says avoid going on top of the roof if you can. A lot of heavy snow. And that's the stuff right there. This right here, believe it or not, an inch of that, one square f uh, foot, one foot by one foot by one inch, that weighs about seven pounds. So you can figure what that up there weighs. With the bitter cold temps and heavy snowfall, he's expecting a hectic season on the rooftops. And I think it's going to be a really bad year for ice dams. And that's, it's three years ago we had a terrible year. I think this is going to be worse. Nick Broadway, WDAY News. Nelson says he's already taken 30 calls for roof service in just the past two days. His charges vary depending on the job.